Welcome back to the channel, folks. Now, you may have a need to tie two pieces of rope together for whatever reason. Yarn, string, paracord, any type of cordage, really. Now, this could be different sizes of rope. If you're the outdoor enthusiast, you might find yourself cutting your cordage more often than not, and you're just left with a bunch of smaller pieces that eventually you just have to throw away. Well, today I'm gonna cover with you my four favorite ways to tie two ropes together. Now, you're gonna hear me refer to some of these knots as bends, and all a bend is is a knot that ties two ropes together. It's simple as that. If you end up liking the video and you wanna see more content like this, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's jump in, folks. The overhand knot. Now this knot's always been perceived to be very weak, probably because it's a simple overhand knot, but it's been said to be stronger than what others have given it credit for. To tie this knot, you'll take both working ends. You will then make a loop by going over or under the standing part, just like you would with any overhand knot. Dress the knot, make sure it's tight, and pull on both standing parts. And you're good to go. Climbers prefer this knot for rope retrieval and some use it even for rappelling because it's less likely to get snagged on obstructions. Now there shouldn't be much slippage with this knot anyway, but I have seen some use a double overhand knot to eliminate any potential slippage. The knots don't have to be touching necessarily. As long as they're close enough, I've never had a problem. I always pull both ends tight after I dress the knot just to make sure there's no more slippage. Now I always make sure I have a good foot at least of tail, just in case there is any kind of slippage with the knot. It won't be anywhere close to reaching the end of the rope and coming unraveled. Now the overhand knot by far is the simplest and easiest to remember knot that I have ever used to tie two ropes together. Now the sheet bend is a very useful knot, especially if you want to tie two different ropes that are different sizes. It is a decently strong knot, but it's advised that you only use this knot with non-critical use cases. What you do is take a bite out of one of the working ends, and what you'll want to do is go through the bite over and under, making sure that when you come back around you're going under the standing part. where you can then pull tight and dress the knot. For added security, you can do a double sheet bend. I'm gonna use this example of two different size ropes. Same as the sheet bend, you go through, over, and under, back under the standing part, but this time you'll make one more loop over and under and through. Make sure that you're not going through the bite that we created with the orange rope here. As you see, I go under the green rope, but back over the orange as I finish the knot. Pull it tight, dress the knot, and you're good to go. The double fisherman knot is a little more advanced. On the other hand, this knot is very secure and can be trusted with more critical applications. You're going to want to bring both ropes parallel to each other, facing in opposite directions. You're going to be focusing on one working end here. You're going to go under and behind. And the trick here is to come back towards the standing part, essentially making an X, and then pulling that working end through the X, dressing the knot by pulling it tight. Now you've essentially made a form of slip knot. And we're simply going to do the same for the working end of the other rope. So I'm going to give myself more room here. It's a little harder with these larger ropes. And once I have plenty of room, I'm going to go over and under, come back, making that X again. And now I have two loops that I'm bringing my working end through. The working end of this rope being pulled the opposite way of what I did with the other knot. Dress the knot by pulling it tight. 
And then now you're simply going to pull both standing parts of each rope tight until those two knots come together. And now you have a completed double fisherman knot. These also work great for grab handles too. Now out of all the knots that I've showed in this video, the Flemish Bend is the only knot that I would trust with my life. It also happens to be one of the strongest and safest knots to make. Going behind, over the standing part, and back through that initial loop that we made. And it makes what kind of looks like a pretzel or a figure eight. And you're not going to want to pull this tight at all. You're going to want to keep this loose because you're going to want to bring that other rope through, chasing the rope that you just made all the way through to the other end, perfectly following that figure eight you made initially. Once you get the working end of the second rope through the final loop, you're going to want to pull this tight and dress appropriately. Again, this is one of the simplest and strongest bends that you can put together. It also happens to be one of the easiest to loosen. Simply apply pressure and the knot should come apart. Now there's a lot of knots out there. Share in the comments what you feel I might have left out, what I should have added, etc. What you've used in the past and you've had a good experience with. Alright folks, until next time, I'll catch you later.